I'm going to go over to my second generation core processor workstation I have here on stage and uh, bring up a video conference. And it sounded like it was about Project X, so it might be somewhat confidential. Um, hi guys, uh, David, what was so urgent that you had to break into Paul's uh, keynote here? Well, sorry, it was actually Shashi's fault. He actually told me that he had some update on Project X and that he would share it with us if we could keep it secret. So I set up this encrypted multi-party video conference uh, using a software for video. And this is actually the first time I think we've shown encrypted video conferencing in a public environment. Oh yeah, so I can see that it's uh, encrypted here. And I just want to uh, take a moment to explain our setup on stage so we know what's going on and why this is actually pretty amazing. Um, David and Sashi are at a remote location, but they're both using second generation core processors, so just like I have up on stage. We have an all-in-one system here, we have a workstation here, and our laptop, all with full vPro capabilities, including the client-side AES&I support that we're highlighting here. And just to recap what AES&I is, AES is an encryption standard that's widely used for things like data, database encryption, banking, and SSL transactions, but security is important to Intel, so we've introduced some new instructions, the AES and I, with our Westmore generation of Xeon products, and numerous software vendors, including Microsoft, Citrix, Parallels, and Video here, um, have been optimizing their applications for it and seen up to 10x, yes, 10x performance uh, uh, capabilities on their encryption elements. And here we're highlighting um, specifically video uh, was able to take a high definition uh, video conference and encrypt it. Um, specifically, we're using 256 bits of encryption on a live stream. Now, I know we talked about the clients, but the heart of all this is the server here. And David, can you just tell us why, uh, what's going on on that server and what's special about it? Sure, yeah, the server is actually encrypting and optimizing each of the video streams for the best video conferencing experience. And to do this, the server has to decrypt and encrypt all three video streams with very low latency. It's amazing, right? And by the way, the server we're using is a Romlink platform, which is our next generation Xeon processor with two sockets and eight cores, each with HD enabled, giving you a grand total of 32 threads of computing power. This is the world's first public showing of this platform since it booted about a month ago and is on schedule for production in the second half of 2011. Wow, 32 threads in a, in a two-socket solution. That's pretty amazing. Now, <laughs> I know this is all pretty cool and 